How's it going guys? I'm standing here in front of my 2021 Toyota RAV4 hybrid and we're going to talk about cargo mats for the back of your hybrid. How do you protect that? Before I get into that, remember to hit that like button, subscribe, and leave a comment or question down below. And I'll also include my Amazon affiliate link down below for the cargo mat that I ended up purchasing for my 2021 Toyota RAV4 Hybrid. So you bought your Toyota RAV4 Hybrid, now you're looking for a cargo mat, so what do you do? So if you're like me, you're going to drive to every freaking Walmart on the East Coast, you're going to look for your cargo mat, not going to find it, you're going to drive to AutoZone, Advanced Auto Parts, swing in and say hello to the Pep Boys, you're not going to find it. Then you're going to jump online and you're going to see options that don't fit your car, things like that. Or you're going to see these customized cargo mats that cost upwards of $100, $200 that just I'm flat out not going to pay that for a cargo mat for my car. So what do you do? What I did is I went on to Amazon. Again, Amazon affiliate link down below. And I bought a Motor Trend cargo mat for the back of my RAV4 hybrid. And I'm going to show you this thing's awesome, super high quality, definitely durable. And I'm going to show you some of the things I put in the back of my car and why I wanted the cargo mat in the first place to protect this. So there it is, guys. Motor Trend cargo mat from Amazon. Bought it, I'm an Amazon Prime member so it showed up just a couple days later. And you can see this thing is nice and durable. It's got decent texture on it so stuff's not sliding around, falling around, but you can see this is fairly thick material. You know, I'd probably say this thing weighs a couple of pounds. And the thing I'm gonna tell you is that this can definitely be trimmed to size, but you're gonna notice like this, you know, it kind of folds up a little bit. Up here, it kind of folds up a little bit. Same thing in that corner, same thing over here. I left it like that intentionally. It almost creates like a dished type of effect and a little more protection there. Uh, but you could definitely take out a pair of scissors and on any place on these lines, you can cut this and trim this to size. I left it that way on purpose and you can see it almost fits perfectly. So why did I go with the cargo mat? Who cares, right? Well, I wanted to protect the back of my car. You can see this is kind of like black felt back here. You can already see the dog here, you know. <laughs> and the other thing is I carry some junk in the back of the car. You know, I carry my tools, carry a jack stand in case I get a flat tire. I have a first aid kit, a vacuum, which I'll show you guys in another video, and just some other tools and stuff. And that's why I got this cargo mat in the back you know so I don't damage the back with my jack stand or can tuck my first aid kit over there bag of tools that probably weighs uh, 30 pounds or something like that right and works out well protects it and I don't worry about it at all and stuff's not sliding around in the back like it would on the felt there Finally, guys, the most important thing to all of us, cost. You guys heard me rattle off at the beginning. You're either going to find some cheap piece of junk at Walmart, if you can actually find it to throw back here, not going to work, not going to fit, or you're going to go online and you're going to pay $100, $200 for a cargo mat. No, I will never do that. What did this thing cost? 35 bucks, 34 bucks, something like that off of Amazon. Free shipping to your front door. You cannot beat it. If you have a RAV4 hybrid, pick this cargo mat up. Get it delivered to your front door, unroll it, put it in the back of your car, and be done with it. You'll love it.